Hello, um, today I'm going to talk about some uh, new 3D modeling um, tools. Um, for example, let's just draw a rectangle. Uh, once you draw it, you can just see here, you can just move your mouse and then they will automatically um, do um, pull, which they extrude. Okay, you know, then you can create things. Um, but you could also just draw a shape. And then you click it, and it's always either modify or model. And in the model, you can extrude, okay. And then they will come up things like this, and then you can extrude, um, set up the height you want, you know, just down there. Uh, what's cool about this is right now we're in the um, you know, OpenGL. If you go to wellframe, you can see things through, right? But um, usually, OpenGL works better uh, but the cool thing is if you press B like A B C D B and then you can see the through you can see what's inside what's underneath it and then if you click it you can draw see you can draw another box and then you can you know see whether or not you can select them and uh, for example I can use this pool tool and uh, see whether or not I can select them um, I select them and then you go to model, you go to extrude, and then you can, you know, you can set up the things you want to do. So I see I can extrude multiple things down there. Okay, that's um, um, that's the cool thing, which is B. Okay, remember that. Um, all right. Um, then the other thing I want to talk about is what they call like multiple um, extrudes. So basically, you just draw whatever shape like I draw one here and I draw another one here okay and then uh, what I do is I select both of the curve lines and then I go to model I go to multiple extrude which is here see here um, and then you know they will say you know ask you create extrude and then here is extrude you can see it's bigger at the top okay and then what we can do is what they call um, extrude editing which it means you click it and then um, you double click so double click is it's one thing that in wax works you always try to do um, for example like some tools you double click you can edit you can do some settings on it. Uh, the same with this tool if you double click it see here if this object is made by extrude, then you can do editing down here. So for example, I can change, um, see here, um, I, I can click it, I can change, I can move, and uh, like this one, I can do things I want to change. See here, it becomes smaller. Um, at the same time, this, I can make it super big, you know, and then when I extrude, so see the shape, the shape changed. Okay, um, that's one thing. Uh, the same with this single extrude. If, for example, if I double click, see here. Uh, but let's see, I can just draw like some shape on it, and uh, then uh, let's say I select both of this and right click and add service. So it's just one service. And then I ex, um, ex, ex, extrude, see the shape changed. Okay, so that's um, that's a really cool thing. Uh, just remember that. Um, then the other thing uh, I want to talk about is what they call um, it's these taper phases, which means is this one. If you click it, see you can actually move things. See here, so you can move faces. Okay, see see this line. See I'm moving it. See, that's what that was. Um, I select this one. I select this one. See, it can you can move some specific face on a specific direction. Okay. See, that's how you good. That's how you do. It. Okay. Um. Well, yeah. This is too much. I I I guess I just go back like this. Um. So that's this. Um. Then the other thing what we can do 
is solid. For example, I have in here I have two box, which means you know one is this one, one is this one, right? Uh, what you can do is you can select both of them, um, just hit shift, and then you can go to model, and then you can see you can intersect, subtract, and add. Okay, if I do subtract, you know they will see oh this is the ones you wanna so they just click this okay uh, if you wanna so you can change if add solids you know see the, you only have one solid right now see just have only one um, so just play with those uh, solids things um, but also what we can do is um, what they call it, uh, drawing um, you can draw things down there, uh, but this should be in, uh, include uh, all, like a working plane, the concept of working plane, okay? Uh, working plane is really important. Um, usually you wanna go to options, for example, see options. Um, there's one called screenplay. You don't wanna use screenplay, okay? Um, that's a bad thing. Um, screenplay doesn't, usually doesn't work. So you just make sure you do working plane only, okay? If you click okay, so you have working plane only. Um, so that's the first thing. Make sure you set up options, and then uh, you can actually set working play here. See here, um, you can, you know, you can draw playing. See here, they will automatically detect. See here, if I click here, actually, if I click here, so this is a working play I'm in right now. What what you can do is you could um, right click. You can see here, you can go to working plane and you can save this working plane. If you save it, let's save uh, slope two and click OK. Then, you know, if in the future you go to some, some other places um, and then you can always go back, set up slope two, then the working plane is here and every line you draw, okay, every line you draw is up here, okay. That's what I mean. Um, at the same time, um, so that's working play, okay? Just make sure you set up a working play very well. And then the other thing is do is easy is when you draw things, for example, in, you are in drawing mode, you can choose automatic. What this do is they will automatically pick the faces you are, you are in, okay? Um, you know, whatever faces. So for example, like this face, I click it. Then I draw down here, okay. Um, then you know you can do things down here. For example, you could um, select again, and you could use you know tapered extrude. You know you can set up angle something, and then you know you can create those kind of shapes down there, okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, see you next time.